And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. And guess what's back? Super Packs. Wee! Glitched Reality Super Packs are here in NBA 2K21, my team. Uh, VC only, of course. Um, 2K, I don't think they're going to release too many MT purchasable Super Packs ever. But the real question is, are these packs worth it? I like this. For a 20 box of uh, these Super Packs, it costs more than $50. $50 does not even buy you one single 20 box. That is not a good sign right off the rip. 20% 92 plus rated player. The actual Dark Matter or Opal percentage, probably much lower. I would say Opal's down around 5%, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's 5 It should technically be 5% for each gem, but I highly doubt that's actually the case. It's probably a little skewed higher towards Pink Diamonds. For whatever reason, Pink Diamonds drop more than regular Diamonds in this game. I don't really know what that's all about. It's not terrible, but still. D Never look at the preview for the packs, because they're not going to show you half of the stuff that even comes out in the packs. Like, I guarantee there's rubies. There's got to be, like, Yuta, Tabusa, and, like, Thad Young and stuff in here, which you're probably going to get frequently. So, let's start opening. I'm not even going to go for a box. I'm going to go straight singles. And wouldn't you know it, there's Thad Young. So, yeah, it doesn't show you that there is rubies in the preview, which... Is that on purpose by 2K? entirely possible they want you to think the highest or like the lowest thing you can get is an amethyst when in fact there are rubies in here which if it's on accident that's just dumb if it's on purpose that's really shady i'm not entirely sure what they're doing but they're they're leaving a lot of cards out of the previews and i personally i think it's on purpose we got a pink diamond i'm going to be getting a lot of those i can just kind of feel it the super packs are weird I just, sometimes they hit really hard, other times they do not, and I know I'm answering the eternal question, should you open these packs? Right off the bat, I see VC only, and I say no. But maybe they're, I don't know, I doubt it though. There's gonna be a million and a half videos that say these are juiced in some way, shape, or form, which like, yeah, dude, if you spend $500 and open a million VC worth of them, yeah, they're probably gonna be juiced, you're gonna get some pulls at some point. The real question is like, are they juiced if you spend $30? And so far, no. A, you shouldn't be spending any money, but everyone is entitled to their own, like, way of doing things. I feel it. I'm not going to chastise you for it. I got two pink diamonds. Okay, great. Okay. So we're about three packs in. I got two pink diamonds. That's a two out of three average. I mean, it's not terrible. Is this my boy Big Richard? Hell yeah. What's up, Richard Dumas? You go for, like, 5k. Now I'm going to do a market video later, um, ex you know, just showing off the market and whatnot. I don't think a lot of the Opal cards or Dark Matters will go down in price like all, at all. Um, you, some of the Buy It Nows might go down in price a bit, but I think really the market's going to crash for like Pink Diamond and Below players from Season 6. That's about when it's actually going to crash. So we're going to see, we might even see Bull Bull come down a little bit, but I'm guessing he's pretty rare to pull as well, so... And here's our first Amethyst. All right, look, I know I've been hyping Matt Bonner all season, but that doesn't mean that I want Matt Bonner. Matt Bonner's tight, though. <laughs> if you don't have that Amethyst, I highly recommend go picking it up. It's probably going to be, like, discard value today. And I promise you, he is worth the 1,200 to 1,000 MT you'll be able to pick him up for. Now, that being said, you are going to be able to make a lot of money on the market today if you're sitting there and sniping quick-sold Amethyst and Rubies, which I'm sure there will be a lot of. Uh, people are just going to quick sell Amethyst at this point. Joe Keem. Shout out to you. I was using him yesterday in TTO, and he, he's so annoying. It's super funny. Nobody guards you at three pointer at the three-pointer line with Joe Keem for some reason. Like, he can hit, dude. Don't sleep on him. Yeah, these packs suck. Like, these packs are terrible. There's no... There's Dad Young. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I mean, I got two pink diamonds, but... Look, I'll be cool with this pack if you just give me Giannis. Like, I could go buy Giannis, no problem right now. It's just out of principle. I don't really feel like it. And, like, just let me have one Giannis. Here we go. Let's give, give me something. If this is a current diamond, I'm going to, like, freak out. All right, Kyrie. Okay. Luke Walton. It's a... Yep. Okay. It's a diamond. It's not a current diamond, I'm guessing, but it's a diamond nonetheless. Uh, 94. 7. Who is this? 
Brogdon. Okay, yeah, the mystery guys are in here. I forgot about. I even forgot about those packs completely. Yeah, I'm about halfway through this right now. I would. I'm close to halfway done with my VC already. And yeah, right off the bat, I would say do not open these. Like, do not give them money for this. Like, if they want to sell VC only super packs. They gotta raise the odds. That's like the only thing I can think of. Or lower the price of VC. Because if, I mean, if $50 doesn't even buy you a 20 box, like, that's, that's fucked up. Like, that's super messed up. Um, yeah, okay, I got Yuta. Great. Yeah, I, I don't foresee these packs tanking the market very much. Just with my luck so far. Um, like I said, Pink Diamond and Below players, they'll probably crash the market on a lot of those guys. I think Bull Bull might be the only one whose market doesn't crash too much just because he's incredibly good. But guys like Kyle Korver, Caruso, um, Pink Diamond, D-Wade, Magic, like, those guys are all going to be really cheap, probably down around like 10k or below. Who is this going to be? Uh, three? Oh my god. Dwayne Wade is going to be cheap. No question, he'll be super cheap. Like, I think I've pulled him uh, two or three times already. I think at least two. I don't know if I pulled him three or not, but two times I've pulled this Dwayne Wade already. And I'm not going to lie, like, this Dwayne Wade's pretty solid, and if you can go pick him up for 4K, like, that's a really good card for 4K. Like, he's cheaper than a lot of the diamonds, like Halliburton and Justice Winslow could be pretty cheap, and if he's really cheap, that's a good pickup. Like, realistically. Yeah, like, dude, that's crazy. 50, 50 bucks doesn't even buy you 20 packs. That's a terrible value. Like, that's an awful value on 2K. I've been saying it for years, man. They just need to lower the cost of VC. If they can just lower the cost of VC a bit, it would do wonders for, A, their public relations, and B, the players themselves. Like, buying VC isn't great anyway, but if they were just to lower it or just switch it to a My Team only currency instead of using VC and lower the price of it... Like, people wouldn't despise them less. Yeah, these packs are garbage. I got two Darren Collisons in a row. Come on, man. <laughs> these packs suck, dude. These packs are so bad. Then again, I don't really think I've ever had great luck with super packs. Like, I have better luck on just regular promos than I do super packs. Like, I pulled, like, three Opals yesterday off just MT Heat Check packs. Like, but here I am with VCA super packs, and I can't get over a pink diamond. I forgot about Marvin Bagley. He was super good for like two days. And then the Warped Reality set came out. And <laughs> everyone just kind of forgot about him. Uh, Alright. Look, if I go this entire thing without pulling an Opal, I'm going to be upset. I mean, I kind of expected it because this is just what happens when it comes to Super Packs. But at the same time, like, all right, there's three Amethysts in a row. You guys can relax. Like, yes, Precious, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name, is super solid, but... I don't want them. Then again, hey, all these Amethyst guys that are out today, like Precious, Matt Bonner, Marvin Bagley, they're all going to be probably around discard value, and I think all of them have uses and are worth picking up. Another Thaddeus sound great. Like, definitely. 3,000 MT is a small price to pay for guys that are that good at that tier. I think it'll help you a lot in Limited and stuff like that, so... Even if you're one of those guys who only keeps, like, a 10-card rotation, like, your main team, I think having those guys is going to be key for, like, future limited runs or lower overall cheesing or something like that. Even just playing, you know, triple threat offline. Okay, look, this has been five packs in a row, and I haven't got a shake. Like, I know the odds are not technically 20% of the packs you open are going to be 92 or above, but, like, it is disheartening when you open five in a row when you have 20% odds. And still, you don't get a shake the entire time. Like, it's di it's disheartening. I can open two more packs because 2K made it 11, 250 instead of just a flat 11 or anything else. Because they do that on purpose so that it rounds out to weird numbers of your VC. So, it'll cost you, you know, one additional pack or whatever. That's all, like, something they do on purpose. Like, it's market tested, PR bullshit, probably pitched by some, like... I'm going to stop being mean to this specific guy, but it's probably pitched from some, like, marketing graduate uh, who's like, yeah, if you make him 11.25, it encourages more VC spending because it'll be, like, an odd amount so they can't get the certain number of packs they were thinking they could get. Whatever. Okay, come on, man. Like, 
there's now been like seven or eight packs in a row where I haven't got a single shake on 20% odds. Do not buy these packs. Do not buy these packs. That's what I'm saying. Like, with all of these top tier cards, like, look at how many Dark Matters are in there. And I'm not even tripping about not pilling the Dark Matter. It is what it is. But, like, I couldn't even get a Darren Williams or, like, anything like that. I don't want any of those cards, but it's more the principle. Like, I, I opened this many packs, and I couldn't even get, like, a bad Opal that's going for 30k. Couldn't even get, like, Billy Owens, who I don't even like, who's going for, like, 25k. Like, that's crazy. Now, let's see, like, how many of these cards are actually getting pulled. Because it's pretty easy to tell when cards are pulled. You know, most people don't attach contracts and shoes to cards that they pull especially if they're just trying to get them up quick um so we'll take a look here a bunch of people probably put up ben simmons thinking his market was going to drop but that's not going to be the case uh it doesn't look like a single ben simmons has been pulled let's check out shack diesel uh two well no one Unless somebody slapped 20 contracts on the one they pulled, which I just, I don't find that to be the case at all. Uh, Steph Curry, I mean, there's probably, he's probably the one that's going to drop the most out of all the Dark Matters, I'd guess, right? That's that's just my, my guess on it, is he drop heaviest. Yeah, and it looks like he has. There's like, I don't, mm, it's tough to tell if any of those even dropped out of packs because they have weird, like, contract amounts. Uh, Kareem is actually one of the cards that I kind of wish I would have pulled. That's not that I particularly want him that much, or I couldn't just go buy him. One. It appears one Kareem has been pulled, or at least put up. These are not, this is not a good sign <laughs> at all. These packs are not good. The random number generator on these packs is bad. Absolutely do not spend any money. I mean, more than likely what's going to happen is you're going to spend $50 and you're gonna pull basically what I pulled. And anybody watching this can tell you that's not worth $50. Technically, fictional basketball cards in a video game aren't worth any money, but you get what I'm saying. Giannis, I would've liked pulling Giannis. Honestly, I would've, it would've been great. I can buy him for 150. I don't really even need him that much, but like at the same time, I would've at least liked to just see that. It would've been somewhat worth it like mentally for me. Yeah, these packs are terrible. Do not buy them. Um, never buy the VC only super packs. They're never worth it. I promise you they're not. As always, it has been your boy Cheap Ludes. I know I haven't had a depressing pack opening in a while. My pack luck's been pretty good this season, but back to basics. Check out the description for all my stuff, and I will be back later with more videos. I'm going to start my tier list. Peace.